Hi guys, Ian here. I'm doing a pub quiz event on Reddit where I post daily challenges. The goal is to pinpoint the best starting location in Civilization 6. After a few days of questioning, I go through them all and try to do a quick analyze from my perspective and other users' perspective. Keep in mind that I have a tight schedule and I might slip up some days, but I will try to keep it consistent as long as I can. So today we have Kublai Khan and it's the Mongolia Empire. Uh, this Darth here is pretty mediocre. I don't see any good start location right now. The, there is a huge lack of food, uh, so that is a big problem. Uh, one of the best thing you can do here right away when you pin, try to pinpoint the location is thinking who you're gonna play. So we're gonna play Mongolia of course, uh, and we want to go to early war. We want at least uh, to get a decent quick early war. So what is important then, we need high production. Production is the key here to winning the early battles, but there is also some different factors we need to consider at least. And one of them are uh, strategic resources. So Mongolia, they thrive on horses, so what they need the most is having access to horses. And where do horses spawn? Well, they usually spawn on planes, and we have a lot of planes here, so there should be a good chance that the horses should spawn within the proximity of all these tiles. So whatever spot we pick here, if it be um, any one of these around here, uh, we should have a good chance of getting horses. So that's already covered. So the next one we need to, we need to figure out is getting a good production. And we already have two very good tiles here. We have hills with forest on, plains hills and forest, that's really good. So we have two one, two of these, uh, but we lack a lot of food. So there is a big immediately concern where we're going to settle because we need food. And food is, is not very important in the long term because you can build farming triangles and stuff, but in the early game you really need food just to grow a bit. And uh, since you see here, you, you can already see here, you see one food on each one of these. But you use one food to use th those tiles. So meaning if you're going to work, if I'm going to settle here, and I'm going to work at, on this tile, right? So I'm using this food just to work on this tile. Meaning I don't get any food and I don't expand my city. So that is a huge concern and you need to address it quite immediately. So I would say any one of these tiles are good in the first beginning. I mean, when you want to settle, you can settle anywhere and still have a decent game. It all requires what luck you have. There is kind of a good settling on this salt, getting a resource that you can trade off right, right away. And um, that's good and all. In my personal view, I think this one is the best spot just to start on because you don't have significant, significantly more food at this spot. So going at this spot, you can still get access to this one to the marsh if you really need the food. And there's also possible to just buy, outperform a worker to just create the farm triangle. If you aim for that, that's possible as well. It's a huge waste, but it's still possible. And you also have access to here if you have a lot of cash. So I, I still think that this one is the, real, the only real spot you can pick. And you don't really want to settle here coastally uh, before the next city at least. Because you're going warfare and um, the first city should be about having as high production as possible. And Mongolia is not necessarily a good naval unit anyway. So going for anything coastal is not important right away. But it could be really useful just to pinpoint one at this spot where the warrior are right now. Uh, where I think the second city should be. Uh, then you have access to a really good harbor here, and uh, yeah, you also have the, the floodplains here as well, so you can make something good coming from here. But you can also settle on the wheat, so it doesn't really matter. But it does matter if you want to settle on this, this salt here, because that means you have one, two, three, uh, and you can't settle on any one of these spots. You, you lock yourself away from that, but um, you can say that about anything. If you settle here, and you can still have problems here up here. You see we just explored, I think it's it's good to just move one spot, you should never move more than two. I think this is the best spot, you have two access to two right away, very good superior um, production tiles and you can easily get farms or food later and uh, you can live good with just having a two unit city, I mean you, you're not gonna cr create too many settlers in the beginning anyway, you're just gonna produce military units and try to go for an early war or something. 
At least that's my preferred strategy when I'm playing aggressive civs. But we have different views coming from Reddit. So, we cup pound groove. And if the tree tiles are probably fine. Personally, I would go for the red dot. Gives you a little more room when you're trying to settle another city in the mouth of the river with your warrior. Because you get the pigs at the third ring and without many other features, I would like to be... It would be super keen on crushing our wood to settle. So, yeah, that's a really good point. You have a little slower start regardless because you're gonna hit second pop until turn 15. Current game I'm playing was like that and pretty poor food in general. I definitely felt it in early game. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna feel it early game, but it's not it's not a big deal early game. You want to create and indeed anyway you're gonna create a lot of scouts and you want military units right away, preferably also a monument. And since we are uh, we are settling on. Fresh water, we don't need a granary, so we are fine without the granary for a long time. We're gonna use it for military production instead. Eris here, seeing red as well. Um, we spent a lot of time thinking of this. Initially, I wouldn't settle for blue. After thinking about it, I thought red was the obvious choice there. Yeah. And blue isn't very good because it's too slow to get things going in terms of growth. You lose one of the food tiles. Yeah. And black is out of the question. Yeah, I agree, kinda. I think black is not out of the question. It's still a good settle still. I mean, you, you ruined the, the place here right away, but you still have access to food right away. And you also have the possibility to create a very quick, uh, decent, uh, yeah, campus reroll. Yeah, that's not the point of this, uh, this quest though, but the reroll will be certainly a ideal scenario. So let's do Norway, and Norway we had, this was still continent, right? And uh, one of the big issue here, we don't have any food, we don't have any production, it's absolutely abysmal. Norway is one of the only one that should always start on water, because they have a very good pillaging ability with their longships. I think the other one that needs to start with water as well is Indonesia because of their faith gain with the uh, coastal cities. You can settle on the hill here, close to the wheat, which is suggest suggested by the rest of the reddit. But I think personally going to this place here, because there is there's no good spot, I mean even if you settle here you, do you don't have any, any farms, no fish farms around you, uh, there is nothing here. So you don't gain anything by by going here. You will still struggle for a long time. And even if you do produce, uh, I mean, if, even if you produce a lot of long ships, uh, this place is continent. So there's not bound to be that many places to pillage. So it's not really necessary that early to go there. And that's one of the reasons I think you can try to ignore going there and going instead going over here to try to settle. Uh, on this diamond hill. There's also a river. You see a river down here. So there's a good chance there's something good with that river. So I, I would suggest going down to the, to the diamond. And I think that's the best and only logical solution you have here. Otherwise you should always start on the coast with Norway. But seeming as this is just hopeless, I would just go down here and just settle there. And get it over. You can go to this side as well and hope for anything better, but I think it's just going for the resources, trading away, and that should be it. So let's just try it. So yeah, we have a decent camp with food here, we have few food here, so we should be able to grow food here as well. So it should be an easy or a good start, relatively good start. You can also build aqueduct here, aqueduct here, and you can build a industrial zone, perhaps industrial town, and uh, yeah. It's the best option, I think. And you see, you can get crabs here, so... But it's it's long, and it's not... It's crabs. You, you want fish in the other game. You want food. And there is none. So I think this was the absolute best spot you can go. And the next city should definitely be on the coast. But you can, ex you can explore more, so you figure out what you want. So let's see what the Reddit user said. Uh, they want to start on the desert hill here. And I think that's a good idea. But it's... But like I said, there is no really good spot for doing anything here. So instead of going coastally, I would definitely going on top of this diamond here. Um, there is other one who says, let's see, 
yeah they want to settle blue and that's that's true that's what we did so we have rs again saying blue he has a long <laughs> a really long discussion here with himself and it's really good I, I love this guys if you really make the effort and now we have the aztec and the aztec start there is one golden rule here i mean when you start the game the first thing you should always look for can i settle in spell in place this is definitely what you should do in this game. Uh, there are some very good options down here. I mean, settling on this stair, really good tile just to start with uh, a lot of food. If you're going like a coastal, if this was Norway, it would be an excellent spot. Just to get there, this the stair here, and you can always get the food. You can go Pantheon early, and you can get like um, the fish, fish boats and everything, and you start steamrolling pre pretty fast. Uh, this one is a really good spot as well for the Aztec especially, you get high uh, production here, you also have access to food and you have access to there, you can shop them, you have access to more uh, olives later, and yeah, it's it's a really good spot to go here, but it takes two turns to go down there to settle, and um, that is not something you want to do if you have a really good spot, uh, spot. so you can make a really good harbor, you still have access to all the stuff you need, and you still get the access to the there where you can use for shopping if you need to. And you still have a lot of mines you can produce here. So I don't see the, the, the downside of, of even starting at this spot. There is a lot of stuff you can do of course. If you, you go down here you can maximize something by having more access to shopping here. And you perhaps have more long term, um, a long term uh, capital maybe. But this is still even better, I mean you just settle here right away, you are even have access to desert tile if you want to go for the pyramids, so yeah, so let's see what the, the other one said, and um, yeah, you can easily say that red is the most preferred option, and the first spot here where you start, and um, yeah, you want to re-roll, there is no, no need to re-roll this map, I think this is a really good start for the, for an aggressive sieve, you have like the the back line you have it covered with water so you can go attacking others uh, pretty pretty fast when you start to, once you start to explore there will be some civilization close by definitely and it's very easy to just find them because you can only go in one direction or two directions so yeah should be easy to find them I, I would settle here and I would pr probably settle here if not but and this one is a third I would ignore this top here. I mean, you don't need the desert tiles that much, at least. And um, you can you can save that spot to our later city if you want. So that was it. That was my my three first daily quiz, and I will start and continue to back tomorrow, and we will carry on, I guess. So see you around. Bye bye.